hi everyone <clears throat> in this lecture we are going to see what are the dc standard or difference voltmeters in the previous lecture we have seen dc differential voltmeter now we are going to see what are the various uh, modes of operation of this dc difference voltmeters there are three types of uh, modes generally existed in any dc standard or differential voltmeters they are so first one is dc voltage standard or you can also call it as a DC standard. And the second one is a DC differential voltmeter. And third one is DC voltmeter conventional. DC voltmeter conventional is a more general voltmeter what we have already seen in the starting. So this is a single resistor followed by a meter. Here we no need to explain this concept again because we have already seen this one. A series resistor in series with the meter. So meter is having the internal resistance RM and current IM. Okay, so in this lecture we are going to see what are the different modes of operation in the case of DC voltage standard and DC volt differential voltmeter. <coughs> so DC standard voltmeter, this is the block diagram of DC standard voltmeter and the operation. Here the entire section consists of, entire block diagram consists of totally three sections. One is so reference section one is a reference section another one is amplifier section and third one is feedback section so reference section reference section in any dc differential voltmeters definitely we should consider a reference voltage because the main purpose of dc differential voltmeter is to measure the unknown voltage by comparing with the known voltage by comparing with the known voltage <coughs> So, the reference section is compulsory. So, reference section we have taken here. Here, a sample voltage, reference voltage we have taken as 1 volt. So, 1 volt reference supply. Suppose if you want to go for more number of, uh, if you are going to calculate highest voltage range, you can also improve the reference voltage. Now, this reference voltage is given to decimal divider. The second block is decimal divider. What is the purpose of decimal divider? decimal divider divide the incoming voltage in terms of decimal values like suppose if you are selecting see here in the feedback the decimal divider input is coming from feedback system feedback section what are the different voltages we have in the feedback section one is one volt range that means zero to one volt range and zero to ten volts range zero to hundred volts range and zero to thousand volts range Suppose if you are selecting 0 to 1 volt, if you are selecting 0 to 1 volt, then the decimal divider will divide the incoming voltage in 1 micro volt step. Remember, the decimal divider divides the incoming voltage into several number of steps. Those steps are determined by the feedback section voltage so if you are selecting the feedback voltage if it selects 0 to 1 volt then the incoming voltage has been divided or uh, decimal uh, divided into 1 volt micro volt step and if the range is selected 0 to 10 volts then the step size is 10 micro volt step if the feedback voltage range is 0 to 100 volts then the step size is 100 micro volt step and if the voltage range is 0 to 1000 volts then the voltage range is 1000 micro volts nothing but 1 milli volt so in this way the decimal divider will divide the incoming voltage into number of steps that voltage has been divided by has been decided by the feedback system range selector now this uh, small voltage because the step voltage is only in terms of micro volts uh, 1 micro volt or 10 micro volts or 100 micro volts or even 1 milli volt this small voltage again it is amplified by using low level dc amplifier because the incoming voltage is very low voltage that's why we have to use a low level dc amplifier followed by high gain amplifier <laughs> Here the amplifier section is used to improve the gain of the amplifier, gain of the incoming signal. So high gain amplifier is used and this output is given to output control stage. That means the pressure DC output we have taken from 0 to 
1000 volts as we have seen here the feedback system is having 0 to 1 volt 10 volts 100 volts and 1000 volts so here the dc measurement can be done from 0 to 1000 volts this is the first mode where the dc voltage standard voltmeter has been acting and the second mode is dc differential voltmeter where the system what we have seen now has been incorporated in a differential section okay suppose if you observe clearly see here the reference section what are the various sections we have in the previous block diagram reference section amplifier section and feedback section if you observe clearly the same sections are also there in this dc differential voltmeter see here reference section is there reference section what are the reference section block diagrams in the previous section one volt reference supply followed by a decimal divider and this section is followed by amplifier section here the amplifier section is having low level dc amplifier high gain amplifier and this feedback system okay now additionally what we have taken is now we have taken what is the voltage we need to measure that is the dc input we have taken and as it is having external dc voltage we need to measure what is the amount of unknown voltage by comparing with the known voltage so this comparison has to be done by a differential amplifier hope you understand okay in the previous section we have taken a mode of operation how the signal is going to be amplified in a step wise so we have taken what are the blocks involved in this dc differential amplifier in the second mode we have taken the input voltage that has amplified after passing through many stages individually like in the previous case we have taken the feedback system selecting a small voltage and amplifying and that output voltage amplified output voltage depending upon the output divider uh, with, uh, what is the range suppose if you are going to 100 volts range the switch goes to 100 volts here the switch is there which selects here a switch is there which selects the corresponding on the range if you are going for 100 volts range 100 volts range will be selected the corresponding resistance will be selected if you are going for 10 volts range the corresponding switch is selecting the 10 volts range so whatever the voltage that goes through the output divider network and reaching the differential amplifier what is the purpose of differential amplifier differential amplifier is a part of meter section it's a part of meter section so the corresponding dc input voltage is amplified through me these many stages and reaches the differential amplifier another input for the differential amplifier is coming from the reference section another input is coming from the reference section and here it is the measured value what we, here it is the unknown value here it is the known value so whenever these two voltages are equal the output of the differential amplifier passes through a zero current passing a zero current so whenever a null whenever the meter shows the null reflection we can assume that the unknown voltage is equal to known voltage okay so in this way a dc differential voltmeter generally works so the third mode is already have discussed it is a conventional way a single resistor is in series with the meter <coughs> it is a conventional dc voltmeter coming to ac differential voltmeter same dc differential voltmeter ac differential voltmeter so operation wise they are same but what is the difference is the term ac the term ac i already told you in the introduction of meter in the introduction of meter i have given you one note one point what is that meter does not respond for the dc current sorry sorry meter does not respond for the ac current we should convert that ac into dc we should convert that ac into dc then we can directly apply to the meter without converting the ac should not directly apply to the meter if we do so that is a wrong and it will not show any measurement okay so if you go to the dc differential amplifier dc differential voltmeter what we have studied in the previous lecture if you see this ac differential voltmeter both are same except that additional equipment what we need to convert the ac to dc see this is the block diagram in the dc differential voltmeter here at this particular point we have an unknown voltage we have unknown voltage which you want to measure that is passing 
to through this uh, null indicator and given to a potentiometer where the potentiometer is connected across the known reference voltage this is what we have seen in the case of dc differential voltmeter here also we have taken the same but this unknown voltage now it is ac voltage so that's why we should convert that unknown ac to dc by seeing the circuit block diagram you can easily understand what is happening here first the ac input is given at this point that ac input is pa passing through input attenuator input attenuator what is the purpose of attenuator it eliminates the noise present in the ac signal it eliminates the noise attenuator purpose is to eliminate the unwanted signal strength so it eliminates the noise components present in the signal after that the signal is passing through amplifier amplifier will boost up the signal it will boost up the signal and then it passes through ac to dc converter ac to dc converter it is nothing but rectifier it is nothing but rectifier it converts the ac signal into dc signal that can that may be converted into complete a pure dc signal or a pulsating dc signal that, that depends upon the rectifier we are using and this unknown voltage now it is passing through the meter okay now whenever the voltage on either sides of this meter equal the current flowing through the meter will be zero then we can assume that the unknown voltage is equal to the voltage across this potentiometer the same concept what we have studied in the case of dc differential voltmeter okay and the next one is ac voltmeters in the case of ac voltmeters there are several possibilities to measure the ac voltmeters uh, because the ac <coughs> you may have a doubt what is the difference between the ac differential voltmeter and ac voltmeter in the ac differential voltmeter we have taken a reference supply compared with the unknown voltage but in the case of ac voltmeters we do not take any reference voltages we will directly measure through the meter moment okay like dc voltmeters here in ac voltmeters we have to use a diode because diode acts like a rectifier diode acts as rectifier it converts the ac signal to dc signal okay so uh, we know the diode characteristics diode works in two regions linear region and non linear region so definitely some cut in voltage should be maintained by the input voltage if the cut in voltage crosses if the input voltage crosses the cut in voltage then diode enters into the linear region otherwise it goes into the non linear region it will not conduct so the signal will not go now first we will see ac generalized voltmeter very simple just two diodes are used just here the input voltage first passes through a resistor rs input voltage first passes through a series resistor and after that we are using two diodes d1 in this way and d2 in this way i will tell what is the purpose of d1 and d2 and rsh is the sh uh, shunt resistance which is connected across the meter to protect the meter to protect the meter rsh is always a low level resistor low level resistor in terms of ohms only so whenever high current passes through this diode simply the rsh will pass through this one whenever this high current enters suppose if i what is the total current this total current enters a high current enters then the maximum amount of current passes through this ish and very little amount of passes through little amount passes through this im so that the meter will be protected always our aim is to protect the meter during performance okay now i will tell the purpose of d1 and d2 suppose a signal is coming like this <coughs> it is a positive peak it is a positive peak so during this positive peak the diode d1 conducts and signal is going okay meter response for this amount of voltage and during this negative peak suppose if any high negative voltage occurs then diode d2 conducts so that the current directly goes to zero so entire res entire circuit response only for positive peak when diode conducts the meter shows some deflection this is the way how we are going to measure in ac voltage using this diodes okay in the next lecture we will see uh, how the ac voltmeter works and uh, how it is constructed using half wave rectifier and full wave rectifiers okay thank you